But first tonight, developing news in the trial of a local police officer sued for allegedly abusing his authority. Security cameras were rolling when Pat Providence patrolman Robert Cowles got physical with a gas station clerk in 2004. That video, first obtained by the Target 12 investigators, was the key piece of evidence in the officer's civil trial. And tonight, that case is now in the hands of the jury. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us live from Providence Superior Court with the developing details. After deliberating for about four and a half hours this afternoon, a jury still hasn't reached a verdict in a troubling case of yet another police officer accused of misconduct. There is evidence of pain and suffering from that assault and battery in this case. John Riley is a lawyer for a man accusing Providence police officer Robert Kells of abusing his power. Dramatic surveillance video shows Robert Kells grabbing a man he thought had molested two young girls. But after an investigation, Ricardo Tavares never was charged. The sound on the video is hard to understand, but the pictures show Robert Kells aggressively confronting Ricardo Tavares at a Sunoco gas station in Pawtucket where he was a clerk back in 2004. Ricardo Tavares is now suing Robert Kells for physical and emotional distress. Today, lawyers on both sides made their closing arguments to the jury. The conduct was outrageous. What Officer Kells does on that video is one of the worst nightmares that anyone can have. He did not beat Mr. Tavares. He only grabbed the lapels of his jacket. He didn't kick him, he didn't punch him, didn't even slap him. Ricardo Tavares is asking for at least $100,000 in damages. Jury deliberations are expected to continue on Monday. Live at Superior Court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.